Welcome. In this video, we will continue with the CompuPlus Virtual Extrusion Laboratory Material Properties module and demonstrate how we might create a new material based on data that we may find in the literature. In this notepad, I have placed some data that I found from the literature for a 1MI LDPE from company XYZ and the authors use the Corot model parameters shown here and the exponential temperature model for their calculations in that publication. I want to create a material like this in my database so that I can do my own calculations with it. To do that, I start click simply by clicking the new button and a panel opens up where I can select what type of material I want to, material model I want to use. So I have the Corot model, and it shows me the model equation here, and with an exponential temperature model, and it shows me the exponential temperature model here. If I want, I can also select which type of elongational viscosity model I may want to use. But since this data does not include elongational viscosity, I will simply click None. Then from the material type list, I will go down and select LDPE. And the manufacturer was listed as company XYZ. The date of measurement wasn't provided. That's not really necessary, so we'll leave that. But from this drop-down list, we will select that the data was obtained from the literature. So we have that for reference. I will also check these two boxes, which will provide the melt and solid thermal properties to that material, the default values. And then we'll continue. Now you'll see a new material is created, and I can rename this material as 1MILDPE from XYZ. And I can open this material, and we'll see that there is already some viscosity curves associated with it. If we click on the shear viscosity Caro model line, we'll see that some default values have already been put in here. We'll simply replace these values with the values obtained in the literature. And simply and this one here. There is no yield stress. So now you'll see that when we click off the shear viscosity into the temperature model, you'll see that the viscosity curves have changed. Now, the temperature shift factor was listed as 0 0.019, which is slightly different. And we'll take that and enter it here. And it's important that when you enter a parameter, you click off it to make sure that it's entered into the tab field. The temperature is 200 degrees C, as was the reference temperature in the original data. So this doesn't have to be changed. And when we shift back to the Corot model, the curves change ever so slightly to reflect the smaller difference in the temperature shift factor. Now, we'll see also that the melt thermal properties have been added and the solid thermal properties have been added. And these are the default values that we have for LDPE. Now we simply go save material and we can exit and now this material is ready to be used by any of the virtual extrusion laboratory modules.